In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do a balloon garland with a pink and balloon setup to make it a lot fuller so you can charge a lot more money. Hey there designers, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. Before we get started with our video, I want you to download this secret guide to getting your dream clients into the door very quickly so that way once you learn this creative skill, you're then able to build in the strategies to book your clients almost right away. This resource along with all other ones that I have to offer will be listed below this video in the description box. So. It's been a while since I did my last tutorial. In fact, if you check out this video right here, I kind of discuss my new ways of doing balloon garland because in my old videos, I have changed dramatically in the past few years. So if you're interested in how to make an organic balloon garland look a lot fuller and what techniques I'm using today in order to charge higher prices, please keep watching. A list of the supplies will be down below, but in today's video, I'm going to be using Callison Balloons 11 inch and Tough Tex 17 inch. Both are in the color baby pink. There is a slight difference between the both, but you really can't tell in pictures and in video. What you're going to do is you're going to blow up the 11 inch and the 17 inch at the same time, tie them together to create a duplet, and then those duplets now create a cluster. And I add one more duplet to the cluster to create six balloons balloons total, three 11 inch and three 17 inch balloons together. So now I'm taking Tough Tech's 17 inch cannon rows and then 11 inch cannon rows and create the same type of cus clusters together. I use an 11 inch and 17 inch. I blow those up together to create the duplet and then I put three of those duplets together to create a cluster of six balloons. Fun fact, I actually ordered the wrong balloons for one of my events because what it looks like online is not what it came out to be when I ordered it. I was going for more of a pink undertone and this has a lot more purple. So just make sure you're ordering the right balloons with these distributors because it can be deceiving online. Now we're going to take the Cannon Rose 5 inch and create small little baby clusters along with the baby pink Tough Ticks 5 inch as well. And normally I would use a pump, but lately I've been so lazy when it comes to my clusters that I'm just using my machine from now on. But what I do is I create a little cluster of four, then I create a little duplet, and then I create a cluster of three. And I make these variations because I like dimension, I like a lot of dimension in my garlands so I will make different um, number of balloons in my five inch clusters in order to create a different pattern as I'm putting them in the garland. Next, you're gonna take your 260 balloons. Again, I've said this in multiple tutorials, it doesn't matter about the color, you can always hide them, but you tie them to one five inch cluster with another, so that way you're able to then put them in the garland. Some people like to cut the 260s in half, that's just not my preference. I prefer more give in the 260s than it being so tight. However, I do understand why people do it. Thank you. 
Next, you're going to take the neck from one of your clusters. I chose obviously the baby pink. And then I'm going to take the neck from the purple and we're going to tie the necks together. Tying necks of the balloons create tension and it's something that it's ideal when it comes to building your balloon garland. I will say this, the callison balloons have the best necks on their balloons. It is so stretchy and it's easy to tie. So if you are struggling with tying necks, you might wanna use callison balloons in your next balloon garland. Next, we're going to attach the balloon garland to the wall. So I just have command hooks hanging on my wall and I just use a 260 and then I kind of tie them together. Um, the one thing I will say when you're making that L-shaped garland, you might want to make two garlands and then connect them. It makes it so much easier versus one large garland. That's my preference, but obviously you can do both. Next, you're going to tie mini clusters of balloons to the actual base of your garland to make it bigger. Now, I saw online balloon classes with Evie and she suggested a utilizing a mini garland on the floor. So I actually ended up doing that here. I actually didn't tie the necks all the way up. I took them down and I just forgot to record them. So I will list her video down below so you can check out what she does because I kind of replicated the same method with this garland. Another thing I love to incorporate nowadays is florals. So I always put a balloon inside like a cluster of three flowers. And so that way it doesn't pop. You make sure when you're sticking these flowers into the balloons that they are closely where the balloons kind of create that tension. So you can stick it in there so it doesn't fall. But one thing I did do wrong was I didn't put my five inch clusters first. So put your five inch clusters first and then add your floral last because otherwise the flowers are gonna fall. If you notice, um, the bottom of the garland is fuller because again, I used Evie from Online Balloon Classes, her technique. It was so enjoyable, it made so much sense and I can't wait to incorporate that in my designs in the future with my clients. But continue to add florals all around your garland to kind of enhance it. Remember, these are add-ons, so you wanna make sure you charge more if you're gonna add florals to your balloon garlands. So what did you think? What did you think? Did you like it? If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to download the secret guide if you wanna start booking your clients, specifically your dream clients today. Because I'm telling you right now, you can learn a creative skill, but if you can't attract those clients who are willing to pay, there's really no point. You just have an expensive hobby. Also, be sure to turn on that bell and notification because in next week's video, we are going to be discussing why you might be having a hard time charging your worth and what is really going on unconsciously as the business owner of your event business. So if you're interested in wondering why you can't charge your worth, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other questions you may have because it might be featured in a future video. I hope you guys continue designing your dreams to reality and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me. Oh my god, I forgot. Alright, let's start over.